welcome to yet another edition of the Yes 101's visual radio this morning. For the news first team, I'm Jared Abdin. We start off with a look at your headlines. News first headline. In headlines, FR petition on general election date dismissed. Final day of postal voting today. Alert level raised after 10 killed by Indonesia volcano eruption. India's Rohit says players must get the mindset right to handle Australian pictures. And now to those stories in detail. In your top story this afternoon, the fundamental rights petition challenging the date of the 2024 general election has been dismissed. The fundamental rights petition was taken up today before a three-member judge bench of the Supreme Court. The petition has been filed by Secretary to the Api Sri Lanka National Organization and civil activist H. M. Priyanta Herat. The fundamental rights petitions challenging the decision to hold the 2024 general election on the 14th November was filed in the Supreme Court on the 21st of October, requesting a ruling that this decision is unconstitutional. The petition argues that the calling of nominations and the announcement of the date for the 2024 general election violates the provisions of the Elections Act of Sri Lanka. And also in more local news, today is the final day designated for the casting of postal votes for the 2024 general election. <music> Chairman of the National Election Commission, RMA Ratnaika, says the postal voters can cast their votes from 8.30 a.m. to 4.15 p.m. today. He also says that postal voters who are unable to cast their votes today may do so on the 7th and 8th of November as well at the district secretariat of the district in which their workplaces are located. Commissioner General of Elections Saman Shri Ratnaika says it is mandatory for voters to present their identity card to cast their postal vote. According to the police, a special security plan has been implemented in locations designated for postal voting. This year, the number of eligible voters for the 2024 general election is 738,000. And up next is international news. International news. In news overseas, it's news in Indonesia. At least 10 people died after a volcano in eastern Indonesia erupted several times overnight, officials confirmed, raising the alert to the highest of a fort tier system. Now, Mount Levatobi, Lucky Lucky, located on the popular tourist island of flows Pudash and lava that peppered the surrounding area with fireballs forcing authorities to evacuate several villages. Now, footage received by foreign media showed villages near the volcano covered by thick ash with some areas on fire. And up next is your update on sports. Sports News. In sports, after India's batting frailties were brutally exposed in a 3 0 home series defeat by New Zealand captain Rohit Sharma, said it was important that his players get in the right frame of mind for what promises to be a challenging tour of Australia. Now, the Black Caps became the first team to whitewash India at home in a series featuring three or more tests after the host faltered while chasing 147 in Mumbai on Sunday. Now, after being dismissed for 46 and 156 in Bengaluru and Pune, the latest capitulation left Indian great Sachin Tendulkar wondering whether it was just poor shot selection that let them down or if they lacked preparation and match practice. And with that, we wrap up this edition of the Yes 101's Visual Radio. For the News First team, I've been Jared Abdin this afternoon. Have a nice day.